What's up guys, it's Mike. So today I'm going to be talking about the fastest way to start working out or more like probably the best way to start working out, start getting in shape. So I was thinking about this topic because I was talking to a good buddy of mine the other day, probably about, I was about a week and a half ago and uh, his name is Brett, Brett Shoemaker. And if he's watching this video right now, he's probably like, oh man, you know, make a video on him. And I told him, I was like, hey, I might make a video, you know, because we were talking for about 45 minutes on the phone. And we were going over some really cool stuff. So this is how, kind of how I got started. So quick story. So uh, he called me up and he was like, Mike, you know, I'm going to start working out and I want to start getting in shape. You know, he kind of has a you know, little gut. He's like, man, you know, I'm going to start working out, getting in shape. So he was asking me all these questions about nutrition. You know, like, hey, what type of food should I be eating? Because I like this and I don't like that. And I tried this before and da, 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 the type of diets. What do you think about this diet, that diet? And same thing with the working out. He was asking me about different types of workouts, what type of lifts are the best for losing fat and all this stuff. So, and this is the thing. So, you know, he was asking all this stuff, and I realized that a lot of people, before they start working out, they're always trying to, you know, like get the perfect type of routine. They want the perfect type of diet that will be best for them, and they want the perfect type of routine that's, you know, best for their fitness goals. And here's the catch, though. The problem with that is before they actually find the perfect one form, they don't ever do anything. They don't get started. And a lot of times this can go ahead and drag on for weeks and sometimes even months. The reason why is because it takes a while to go ahead and come up with you know, a perfect routine or come up and really understand how to really go ahead and diet right so this way you can drop weight or how you can gain weight. You know? So it takes a little while to do that stuff. It's not just going to be like, hey, I'm going to do a couple of research over li online and yes, this is the best one. right? So what happens is a lot of people never really get started on working out. They never get started on actually doing something because they always try to go, they're always in a planning phase. And you might be in a planning, you may think, well, it's only going to take me a week to go ahead and plan this stuff. But you know what? If something comes up during that week and that interrupts your planning, you might have to end up putting your focus to something else. It could be something with work, something with school, maybe something else in your personal life that comes in the way. Man, I mean, it happens, man. You know, it's just life, right? It happens all the time to all of us. And the problem with that is, you know, most people will never get started. Because I talk to so many people that always talk about how they want to start dropping fat. Hey, you know, I'm gonna, you know, soon I'm gonna go ahead and start getting, start working out. I'm gonna get rid of this gut, or I'm gonna start putting on some more size and all this stuff. And I look at them and I ask them this question all the time. So, have you started working out? Are you working out right now? Oh, oh, well, no, no, not yet. You know, I'm going to start soon. I just got to do this, this, this. I just got to do A, B, C, and Z, and da, da, da. And I'm going to start then. You know, I'm like, all right, yeah, okay, sure. And now, I'm, but most of the time, when people tell me that, I can't just zone out, man. I'm like, all right, yeah, you know, he's full of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's just talking, you know what I mean? So, you don't want that to happen. So, this is what I suggest. And this is what my buddy told me on the phone, right? So, I asked him the same question. That's what I, I, was, I always ask the same question when people ask me about fitness. I ask them, you working out? You know, what are you doing right now? And so he's like, well, I'm not, I haven't really been doing workouts, but I have been doing 10 push-ups every single night. And, you know, for most people, they'll probably be like, hey, you know, that ain't shit. That's not enough. You know, it's only 10 push-ups. But actually, though, I told him, I was like, Brett, man, I was like, you know what? That's good. You know, that's actually really good that you've been doing that. And the reason why is because... Even though 10 push-ups really ain't enough to go ahead and get you in a good shape at all, but it does establish consistency though because now you know in your mind, you're training your, you're training your mind and you're training yourself to build a habit into working out every single day. Even if it is something as little as 10 push-ups, you know, and that's really good because consistency, like I said, is the most important thing, you know, doing it is the most important thing. That's why consistency is so important. Anybody can go ahead and, you know, plan out, it takes them a week to go ahead and do one badass workout, whoopee, you know, I mean, who cares about that, you know, you might as well go ahead and get, you know, seven 15-minute badass workouts or seven 15-minute short workouts a week and go ahead and do one badass workout a week, you know what I mean, so that was actually good for him, I told him, well, even though you're doing 10 push-ups, that's awesome, but try doing this, try throwing in some squats, try throwing in some crunches, you know, some mountain climbers, Something really basic, it doesn't require any equipment, doesn't require any type of excuse. You know, you can do it anytime. You know, you can be at work, you can be at home chilling, you know, you don't have a gym membership, don't matter. You know, I mean, you can do it right when you wake up, which is actually what I suggest. And I told him that, and he's like, all right, Mike, I'm going to start doing that. You know, and that's actually what he did. 
And that's what I want to share with you guys. If you guys are actually thinking about working out and you're one of those guys who's, you know, you're trying to plan your workout, you're trying to plan your eating, and you want to go ahead and do this whole massive grocery shop, you know, to go ahead and get all the right foods. And then let's say today is, you know, Wednesday or whatever and stuff, and you want to go ahead and do a plan, a big grocery shop list and wait till like Sunday to cook. Don't worry about all of that stuff. You can still plan it, you know, so do still plan your plans, right? But start working out immediately, you know, like right now, you know, like tonight. If you watch this video right now and you haven't worked out today, tonight, go ahead and do it. You know, here's something easy. Do 10 push-ups. If you can, do 20 or 30, right? Do the same thing for squats. Do the same thing for crunches. It doesn't have to be a lot. Psychologically in your mind, man, when you're doing just 10, 20, 30 push-ups and you're doing just a little bit of workouts, even if it's only five minutes, what that's going to do, though, is it tells your mind and tells your body, yeah, I'm working out. Yeah, I'm being consistent. And then automatically, everything else is going to continue. Everything else is going to continue, and you're always going to have that top mind awareness of working out. And automatically, without even planning your diet, you're going to go ahead and start being aware of the foods you're eating. Because automatically, if you're working out, in your mind, you're going to think, okay, well, i got to start eating more healthy. Because if I eat like crap, that means it's going to go ahead and erase the results that I, that I got from that little workout which is really not true, but still, that's just the way everybody thinks, you know? I mean, personally, even I think the same way. It's not true, though, but that's just kind of how our mind works. So automatically, you're going to start to try to eat healthier. You're going to start staying away from sugars and, you know, pastries and cookies and ice cream and fried food and stuff like that. Automatically. If you don't believe me, man, try it out. Try it out. I promise you. If you do three workouts, right, every single day, you just do one workout day after three days. After three workouts, automatically you're going to start having a lot more aware of the foods you're eating without even knowing anything about diet. All you're going to know is fried food is bad for you and, you know, salads and chicken breasts is good for you, right? And there's a lot more stuff than that that's good for you, but most people have at least real basic common sense of what's good and what's bad. And that is really all you need to get started. And then from there, then you spend your time on the research, find out the routines that's best for you to go ahead and put on masks or best routines for you to go ahead and rip up and lean up and drop that fat. During that time, though, while you're trying to research, you're working out already, you know, so this way you're not, you don't have any time lost. And it ensures that when you do find your best routines or you do find the diet that works best for you and all that stuff, you establish a consistent workout habit already and you build up something very important, momentum. Because once you get momentum going, man, you just need to hang on to that bandwagon, man. Just let it take you as far as they can go. Because I promise you, momentum is temporary. When it comes, it comes. You better jump on. And when it's gone, you better hope to God that that will come back, right? You want to recreate it again. Because momentum is what gets you to go ahead and get things done, right? Working out especially. That's why when people stop working out, it takes them so damn long to get started again. It's like, you know, you go on vacation or... Christmas or whatever the deal is, you know, you take five, four or five days off, and in theory, when you come back, you should be able to start working out. But you know what happens a lot of time? A lot of times, they end up going ahead and take another week off. Why? Oh, well, you know, this came up, and blah, 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 blah. That's all bullshit. Okay? The truth is, the momentum, the, 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 the momentum was gone. All right? That's what really happened. And then it took a little while for somebody to get off the butt and try to restart that momentum again. So that's what it's going to do for you. That's why you want to go ahead and start doing some type of exercise right away, like the ones I named, okay? Because you want to build that momentum and you want to build that consistency right off the bat. Don't worry about perfect workouts. Don't worry about, you know, the best ways to do everything. Just worry about doing something every single day, okay? Keep it the same. Keep it simple. And I really suggest just doing those workouts, you know, push-ups, squats, sit-ups, you know, or crunches, you know, mountain climbers. Something really basic, you know, it doesn't take, it doesn't take a genius or any type of fitness knowledge really to go ahead and do any of those things, you know, and you can do it with no weights, just use your body weights, so this way you don't have to worry about picking up any equipment, or you don't have to worry about using the weights the wrong way and getting hurt, you know, and this way, man, you start getting some results right away, later on, figure out the rest of that stuff, so that's my suggestion, hey man, it's a new year, it's 2013, it's time Everybody starts working out, starts getting in shape. Enough talking, time to go ahead and do something, right? That's what we're going to do. This year, no talk, just do it, right? Nike. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more workouts, you want nutrition, 
And once you start doing the workouts, you want an actual routine that you can follow, then check out sixpackshortcuts.com. See you guys later. Peace.